Were you born in Hawaii? I wasn't born in Hawaii. I was born there. in San Francisco, but I but did a lot of my growing up there. Yeah. So yeah, I so it was you were it was born amazing. There. I don't know. I don't think no. You told me. I, I didn't. Swear you told me. <laughs> no, I told you. I swore you said. I've known you for years. I've always said I was. But when born we in were town. there, you gave me a big speech like this is my land. I started. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say that now all of a sudden, San Fran. That was San Fran. Then I transferred. <laughs> when we were there, you gave me a very like spiritual speech about how it all started. How your mother <laughs> held you over this cliff. <laughs> 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 this is a cliff where I was born, and my mother gave me. <laughs> this, is, this is the problem. Yes. I'm trying to, try to be respectful. Hawaii was beautiful. <laughs> beautiful, uh, you know, mountainside and lushness. And, and uh, we shot in this beautiful place called Kualoa Ranch, where uh, uh, Jurassic Park, the original Jurassic Park, okay. was shot, and the ones uh, after that as well. And it was just amazing. But you didn't like it, Kevin. He hated it. No, no this no, is no, the no. problem. I didn't. I didn't like it at all. I mean, outside of the the spiritual grounds that you took me to, and I swore you <laughs> even <laughs> sung a song. You were like, I specific. We'll talk about it really? later. Well, what, how the song go? The song. You were like, Sorry. you were like, Kona Matana. <laughs> <laughs> John, you didn't like these films. No, not at all. I, I, I think the technical term is a scaredy cat. <laughs> and, um, I never saw horror movies growing up. Uh, I was too terrified. And obviously, I'm a huge horror fan now. If you saw my iTunes list over the last year, you'd say, I think we have a problem. <laughs> um, but it's, uh, it's phenomenal. I, I don't think I'm, my name is the one that you see and say, can't wait to see a horror movie from that guy. But the original script came to me, and it's actually uh, an incredible story of family. And so it's, to me, you can't tell by looking at the poster. We can show that again. Um, but it is a love letter to my kids. It's, a, it's about what would you do uh, as a parent? What, what extremes would you go to to protect your kids? And it, is this true that this film you originally weren't going to be in? Well, we had just had our second child, and I was about to do Mary Poppins, and so I was in a sort of fi general feeling of joy. I didn't know if I wanted to go towards the darkness of the pitch that he'd given me for this film. <laughs> and then I, I'd mentioned a friend of mine too, John, when he pitched me. I said, oh, you should call so-and-so. And, um, and so he so -and -so did. So-and-so is so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So he did call so-and-so. And you didn't send her the script, admittedly. She wasn't sort of hired, but... Um, so close. But so close. <laughs> and then I read the script and I was like, you need to call her and fire her. <laughs> are you still friends with her? We are, until the movie comes out. And then she's like... <laughs> and, John, for you, obviously, lovely that Emily wants to be in the film. Absolutely. But yeah. as a director, is it then weird giving your life partner notes? It, it was weird because I was very nervous about it, to be honest. I think we both were. Yeah. Before we started shooting, she said, are you nervous? And I said, I'm terrified. And she said, oh, good, me too. Um, I think it's one of those things where people think because we're both in the same business, we have the same experiences. But I've actually never been on set with her, seen how she worked. I'd heard she was a diva, and I just... <laughs> <laughs> Like, can't get Emily out of her trailer, stuff like yeah. that. It's like, ugh. And um, no, but it, I think what it was is, and it, it sounds really sappy, but it's true. I think it's the greatest collaboration I've ever had in my career. I, I've never seen her work. And when you are actually in the room and she does what she does, it honestly, it changes the air in the room. Everyone is just completely and totally stunned by what she does. Oh, that's See how, but I don't know, really yeah. <laughs> to learn early on in our oh, that's relationship true. was that British people are notoriously terrible at taking compliments. Would you agree? Just like... That's that's actually what she did. We first met and I was like, well, I just want to get out of the way. I'm a huge fan of yours. And she uh, went, ah! <laughs> 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 you weren't cool at all. There was none of that, actually, uh, I don't know your work. You were a proper fan of it. Oh, I was, I was full stalker status, yeah. <laughs> I was just like, hey, you want to go out on a date with me? <laughs> No, tell um, people, how many is this true? How many times have you seen Devil Wears Prada? I mean... Not 75. Give or take, 72. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, I, it's one of those things that back in the day, us elderly people used to channel surf. <laughs> and um, no one does that What's anymore. That? But, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, so I mean... So cruel. Um, no, it's just one of those movies that whatever, whenever you're going through the channels, you just stop and you... I mean, look. Has anyone seen the film here? Probably. Um, do you know that there's, people, there's a sort of montage sequence where Annie Hathaway's got numerous fabulous outfits that they yeah. go through. And John, one day I came home and he was watching it. And, and he was watching the montage bit and he goes, and 
That's my favorite outfit. <laughs> With the beanie. Well, I couldn't get Annie, and so I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Rock, your character's name is Dr. Smolder Bravestone. Yes. And uh, so all the characters have strengths. Uh, yes. So one of your strengths is the smolder. An actual smolder, yes. yes. It just takes over, uh, and I have no control of it. And did you know you could smolder? Like, did you kind of think, yeah, I, when, you, when you read it, you got to go, oh, yeah, I'll do my smolder. You know? I take you... Is that it? No, no, it didn't come yet. Oh, OK, OK. Yeah. That, that literally is where it came from. That... What you're seeing, and this is why he looked at me, because it's so frustrating. Just go ahead, tell, tell a story about your stupid smoke. No. <laughs> it's, 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 it's one of those things that, you know, as we're developing the script and thinking, well, what could be a fun thing? Well, what if a fun thing, one of the fun things was he, he has this ability to smolder and it just takes over him. He has no control of it. Uh, and, and, uh, and it's just one of those things, Graham, that the, God delivered, I signed for it. And, 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 and just do it. And every, everyone likes it and everyone loves it except one individual. <laughs> Everyone loves I'm gonna it. tell you what it is, okay? Now we we are we are very close. We are very close as friends, and you know, in this position, he's a producer on the film. So sometimes I, I just bit my tongue. So this idea came up from a producer like mentality. Well, like, oh, you know what would be great for this character well, I know, I know. If, if he smoldered? And I was like, what? You know, what I mean? he's like, <laughs> you know, if he did a thing, and I was like, what that got to do with yeah. that? Being like in the game. He's like, it's a thing. Right. And he's like, and then he brought it back. He was like, my mom used to do it to me when I was, when I was over the mountains. <laughs> and that's why we listened to him, because he brought it back. Everything got tied back to Hawaii. That's how he did oh. it, Graham. Well, the proof is, can, can we see a smolder? Can we see a smolder? Oh, I'll, I'd be happy God. to. Great, sit back for a second. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Um, can we have a little music? Maybe something that's a little ominous? Maybe, okay, Whoa, here we go. Wow. Yes. Okay, okay here we go. You ladies. can do it to me if I you can want. Do, I, yes. <laughs> You're ready. Here we go. That's why you are who you are, bro. That's why. That's a genius right there. That's why you are who you are. Because you, you, do, you have hung out with Roger. We've got pictures of you here. That, that's one of the royal... Is that your first royal variety or second? But that's the second one. I mean, that might be why I'm not getting one. He's <laughs> like, I, I came on a little strong to Prince William's girlfriend. Not girlfriend. Sorry, the wife. The duchess. Yeah. What, the wife. The, the, um, the future queen. Sorry, yes. <laughs> Kate Middy. I came on... <laughs> I came on quite strong, and then when he came down the line, he went, uh, uh, seriously, you need to stop flirting with my missus. <laughs> and so... <laughs> yeah, that's me. He's squeezing my hand very hard. <laughs> <laughs> this is becoming a thing now as well. I, um, I, I've made no bones about it. I'm a big fan of um, Judy Murray. Right, of Judy Murray. I think yes. she's a wonderful woman. OK. Um, and, you know, I've said that publicly. And I went to Queen's. Very, very publicly right now. Publicly. Yeah. I, I went to Queen's last week, and Andy Murray was there. And I've never met Andy Murray before. And he beckoned me over, and I went over like a little naughty schoolboy. And he went, Jack, you need to stop tweeting my mother. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see the DMs? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Andy. Oh. Imagine if you were Andy's stepdad. That'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that music you walked on to, we, did you hear it? That, I did, yeah, yes. Yeah, that's, that's your music. It is the iconic rock music, yes. And so, did that bring back happy memories or bad memories? 
Oh, happy memory. Oh, good. Yes, good. no, I mean, we, I was able to do a lot of cool things. You yeah. know, Snoop was there on a couple occasions. Yes, yeah, I was able to witness it. There was a lot of ass kicking going on back then. <laughs> yeah. But we got, the, this is the classic, I think this is sort of a classic rock pose with the eyebrow, the, the, that signature eyebrow. Look at that. Yes. That's, yeah. <laughs> This is your kind of. This is the kind of the pre-match. Is this the pre-match? Uh, yeah, that's like the. It's the pre-match. It's the preamble. It's a talking trash. That is a. I had a catchphrase that 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 went with. Is that the? It doesn't matter. That's it. It doesn't matter. How did it doesn't matter? Because it doesn't sound like a catchphrase. How did it work as a catchphrase? Well, uh, wh whoever I was in the ring with, and Snoop has been there on many mm. occasions, right? So whoever I was in the ring with. So for example, if it were you and I, I'd be like, um, Graham, what do you think you're gonna do tonight when we get in the ring? Well, I think it I'm doesn't gonna... matter what you think you're gonna do. <laughs> so... <laughs> so that's how it kind of works. <laughs> that's how it kind of works. And it's, then the <laughs> it's the shouting and yeah. the bravado. But then the, if you smell, okay. if you smell what the rock is cooking, how did that work then in 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 a sentence? Oh well, that that works in a sentence, uh, a statement, a question. It works anywhere. It works <laughs> where, right when you wake up, right before you go to bed. It just you could just say it. If you smell what the rock is cooking. Yeah, but you got to say it probably with a little bit of like, you know, a little. Do you bit shout more. that one as well? Mm, it's hard. I generally have a microphone when I'm doing it. Well, hello. <laughs> oh. Go for it. I don't know. They don't want to hear me, do I think they do. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here That's we what go. you got to do. Okay. All right. Here we go. So it's, it all starts with the base. Okay. Okay. Got to open your legs a little bit. Okay. Okay. You got to kind of do one of these. Yeah. Lean yeah. forward a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Come back. If you're some man. And then right here is where you gotta do a little tongue thing. Okay? <laughs> this is where it gets interesting. If you smell, <laughs> then at the end you gotta, ow, you gotta do that. What the rock? And then there's a little pause. There's like a big pregnant pause oh, that you yeah. have to do, right? <laughs> right? So the audience kind of leans in a little bit. Is cooking. And then that. Oh, there we go. Nice. You're fluent in the French as well, aren't you? Absolutely not. Oh, I thought you were fluent no, in French. No, I'm not fluent. I mean, I did it at school. I did A-level French, but I'd since gone out the window. But I, I get really nervous speaking French. And I actually used to have a, a stutter when I was a kid. And it's still the way that, that I still stutter when I have to speak French. It comes out when you yeah, speak French. Yeah, it comes French, out when really? I try to speak French. <laughs> yeah. How weird. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, no. let's not... <laughs> I've seen the King's speech. <laughs> <laughs> very authentic portrayal. Yeah, that yeah, was very, me. Very I was Colin yeah, first. But, but in French. <laughs> but in French, yeah. We went to Paris for New Year once, and, and you know, my now husband and our two friends were like, go on, find us a taxi, because we need to get to this place. I said, oh, God, please don't make me, please don't make me. And I hadn't had the guts to tell them, actually. I do still stutter. And they were like, go on, please. And so I went to the guy at the front desk. I was like, um... I could say everything apart from the word taxi, apparently. So I went, um, est-ce que je peux avoir un, uh, un... And he went, taxi? And I went, yes! And he went, taxi! He's Simon English, Simon French! <laughs> You take back, you reclaim the fanny pack, or what we'd call a, a bum bag. Bum bag, yes. Yeah. Yes, I do, I do. Well, it started with this picture. I have an infamous picture of me um, in my 20s, and I was just owning this look. I had a turtleneck, I had mom jeans on, I, had, I was wearing a fanny I think we've pack. Got the, we've got the picture. Here, oh, no. Th there you are. <laughs> it's a, it's a strong look. It's, it's something. It's a and this oh. was this was you being serious, yeah? No, oh yes, yeah. I think I'm cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is full on. Yeah. And are you aware that this has now become a sort of fancy dress outfit? <laughs> like people do this. They do this, yeah, yeah, yeah. as a joke. Yes, like, uh, it's so crazy. Seth, Seth Rogen was on the show, yeah. and he showed us his version. Here's Seth Rogen as it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my guy. <laughs> uh, there, there's just a, a random man, but very good eye for detail. See, <laughs> he's, he's got the tissue, the tissue under the elbow, which you have here. It's because, by, <laughs> let me just give the audience context as to what that is. The, the, what I had my arm on was very dirty. 
So I thought, I need a tissue, please, to protect the turtleneck. Yeah. Right, that's sense. it. That you sense, must have a right? beautiful home. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, it's not just adults. No, young fans are attracted to it as well. <laughs> I mean, yes. <laughs> and, and again, again with the tissue. I love the Rolex. The too, tissue, right? yes. Yeah. And actually, uh, some other people have done it as well. Yeah, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, look, uh, yeah, look at that. I want to party. Got to party with those guys. Yes. <laughs> the three of you should dress up and go out in London tonight. Yeah. <laughs> the paparazzi would go hysterical. They'd be like, what's going on? What's going on? School trips are notoriously awful. I mean, uh, uh, terrible things do happen on school trips. But you went to a very nice school. So did you go on lovely things? Did you just do very nice things on your school trips? Uh, the worst school trip I ever went on, I, we went to Hampton Court and... Uh, we went there and they had real Tudor outfits that you could try on, one for a man and one for a, for a girl. But I went to an all-boys school and I was chosen to wear the corset and dress. <laughs> and I cried and it was awful. And Patrick Ward got to be the man, so I had to be Patrick Ward's bitch for the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of the worst experiences of my life. Actually, I think that picture's in your book. We've got the, the oh, picture. We have Great. the picture have the of... We, we ramble in, did you say? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was actually, I, wa I remember being sad, but in that photo, I look, I mean, he looks haunted. <laughs> yeah. I look like I just leant in and whispered that I'm not wearing any knickers. <laughs> <laughs> he does look like he's just in denial. Yeah. He's like, I'm not going to remember this. I'm deliberately <laughs> never going to remember this happened. Oh, I could be in Wolf Hall. <laughs> Do you just get bothered all the time? All the time. Yeah. Ah. But yeah. how do you so work anonymity out? anonymity's gone out the window. But how do you work out in the gym if people are constantly coming up to you? Uh, just be nice, say hello, get them moving. And get them moving. Yeah. Lift them. It. Get, <laughs> <out of there>. <laughs> <laughs> but fame is a funny thing, right? So yeah. you, that story for you, well, that will be like the constant anchoring reminder, right? Of like how cool fame is, but also never like... I don't have the stress you have, though, because right. I think the thing is, if you, if you are five foot six and you've got a hat on and... You're dressed like a, a, a most of the time a teenage boy in a baseball cap. <laughs> <laughs> headphones on, head down. I catch the bus and the I, I catch yeah. the bus and the subway every single day because I'm not in anyone's eye line like that. But I imagine you, you there is something about if if you're you you can't. You're, <laughs> you're seven feet tall. <laughs> So, yeah. But Kevin's what? had Kevin's had weird. You've had weird fan had characters. Fun. Well, what happens if you're three foot two? Like, Wait. how does that? <laughs> how, do, how, do, how do you? How do you? Do, what are you talking about? He's so rude. Wait, no. <laughs> no. How do you deal with that? Five when two. You're that, you know that. Like, hey, look, I'm looking up at everybody. Five two. I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry. So, you swim with dolphins. No. Well, I've taken up the hobby of scuba diving, which okay. I really, really enjoy. Um, and so we went down, I've been shark diving, which was kind of amazing, although I had a real close encounter with a shark recently. Little, though, shark. It wasn't, it was about six feet, so Did I Did it eat people? Was it well, that tight? Well, it wasn't, but it, why right. are you trying to diminish my story? It's just the type of fish. <laughs> <laughs> you went near a fish. Let me tell people you People do that. <laughs> That's your story. I was near a fish Maybe once. Maybe let me tell you. <laughs> For you. Yeah, I'm gonna just shit on all of your stories. <laughs> Don't you have rules for swimming with dolphins? With dolphins? I heard that you're not supposed to touch a dolphin unless they come to you and offer themselves for a rub down. Oh! <laughs> you're, not to, you're not supposed to touch them Why? if they don't, because dolphins mate for life, and if you touch one of them, the other one can smell your your touch on them and they so think that they've cheated on them and then they, you can break up a dolphin marriage. So that is true. That is fact. I know. I'm going to have to phone up SeaWorld directly. <laughs> <laughs> I've been down one's blowhole. <laughs> well, put it with Faith. She's had a dolphin orgy, if that's the case. I re yeah, I reckon, I reckon I've broken up a few dolphin Why? marriages. <laughs> um, I went to Cuba and I sort of was in a situation where they were like, do you want to swim with dolphins? And they actually taught me how to 
sort of be lifted up on the nose of two dolphins and what, With your foot on each on each. Nose. Now, if dolphin. you think she's making it up, <laughs> somebody filmed it. That's a good story. We've got the footage. <laughs> Not, oh, I was near a fish once. <laughs> Two it was a shark <laughs> that came like that to me. <laughs> that's not nice. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, that's got a brilliant this. That's <laughs> nice work. I'm well into this. Now look. Oh, brilliant. That's Paloma. <laughs> it's not great to begin with. I'll give you that. It does look like a woman in the water. Now what? Watch this. Watch, what? 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 Have you got any footage of you near that fish? <laughs> Is it true that in Moana, the, your character was based on him? Sure, correct. So a lot of uh, the, uh, the details of that character, uh, Maui, was based off of my grandfather with the long hair and very big build and tattoos. Mm -hmm. um, and in Polynesian culture and Samoan culture, um, you, to become a high chief, you have tattoos um, 360 degrees from your knees. Mm -hmm. Uh, all the way up to the bottom of your chest, mm -hmm. everything. Wow. And, and it's hardcore, and they I do it with, they, with a tap. <laughs> yeah. <Yes>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, everything, everything. No, not everything. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard. I heard everything. Yes. Working around. Well, the cash and prizes is, is yes. lifted, yes. and then you. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, but because you've been in that film now, do you get sort of children wanting you to kind of delight them as, as Maui? All the time. <laughs> All the time, like it, it's constant. It's always constant. Mm. Oh, you sing the song, sing your song, sing your song, and I do it, and then and then they cheer, and then I go say, hey, okay, we'll have a good day, and then, ah, sing again. <laughs> 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 yeah, constant, constant. Yes. He has a great voice, though. Oh, thank you. Oh, you should sing kind. to them. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, the last day. <laughs> I, I I can't. I don't know if I. I don't. I, oh. I don't. That looked like a man who wants to. I, do, I don't know. All right, let's see. Uh... <laughs> what, what's the music? What's the music? Let's we'll just go right into the rap part, and this is what the kids love. So it's all right. Listen, kid. Honestly, I could go on and on. I could explain every natural phenomenon: the tide, the grass, the ground. Oh, that was Maui just messing around. I killed a eel and I buried its guts. Sprouted a tree. Now you got coconuts. What's the lesson? What does it take away? Don't mess with Maui when he's on a breakaway. And the tapestry here on my skin is a map of the victories I win. Look where I've been. I make everything happen. Look at that me, mini Maui just tick tick tapping. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. That's so impressive. Thank you. <laughs>